Right, hello and uh, welcome to uh, this year's uh, Socialist Party Summer School on, uh, on religion. Um, and uh, kicking off in a few seconds will be uh, uh, Sandy, our first speaker for the weekend. Um, there's a um, housekeeping uh, to go through which uh, won't take a second. Um, just like to start by saying that um, I think this weekend's a bit of a tribute to Ron Cook, who uh, sadly passed away a couple of months ago. Uh, Ron had been the, um, uh, the backbone behind well, both Birmingham Branch and um, previous summer schools for a good few years and um, uh, sadly wasn't uh, able to see this one. Um, but um, hopefully we've uh, carried on in uh, pretty much the way that he would have uh, wanted, so uh, I think this weekend is uh, for Ron. Um, uh, as I say, first up uh, is uh, Santa Easton um, telling us about the real meaning of religion. Right, thank you. Well, thanks, Roche, Colin Sherman. Um, earlier on this evening, uh, somebody said to me that what with the facial fungus, uh, mm. which is all too apparent there, um, I reminded him rather of Stephen Coleman. Um, you'll probably not think so by the time this talk is finished. <laughs> I'm not even sure that I should take it as a compliment. But uh, anyway, um, what you're more likely to get is a rather rambling version of the late Alistair Cook. Um, in the sense that I'm not going to sort of uh, start neatly at the beginning, go to a middle and then finish up at the end. And I'm certainly not going to do what uh, Cook himself criticised uh, radio talks in his time for doing, tell you what I'm going to say, say it, and then tell you I've said it. Um, what I aim to do in this, however, is to cover a number of issues and get a discussion started more than anything else. I don't know whether we'll come to any earth-shaking conclusions by the end of this, but let's hope we'll have made some progress. Now when we um, consider a subject like religion, uh, there's one thing fairly certain about it, and that is that it is an important subject. Not necessarily because it has any value in itself, uh, the content of religion, uh, we as socialists would find um, well, distinctly questionable, uh, to put it mildly. But because it has um, been about for some time, anything that's been about for as long as religion has is likely to have had some significance. And there's a good deal of dispute uh, about how long it's been about, how basic it is to human experience, and what its value actually is. I mean, there are some people who would... Um, you know, quake in their shoes to even think that anybody was questioning that there must be uh, some value in this, but uh, there we are. So what I'll do to start with is try and answer a few questions related to the meaning of religion, its conceptual meaning, um, its meaning in the sort of historical scheme of things, its, its social meaning, if you like, and how we uh, should take it as socialists. So what is religion? I think most of us have a, a fairly good idea what it is. It's, it's a system of beliefs which uh, are centred on the worship of a god or gods. Um, uh, to the, the Jews it's Jehovah, to the Christians it's uh, a sort of Jehovah modified by Jesus, and to the Muslims uh, they would say it's the same god, um, uh, but they're, they're very um, extremely monotheistic. There's no Trinitarianism, there's, there's no um, referring to God in the plural, so far as I know, in, in Islam. Uh, but those three related uh, Abrahamic religions, as they're sometimes called, um, are probably what most of us know uh, most about. Um, other religions have several gods. Hinduism, for example, uh, has uh, numerous gods, and indeed the deva, or personal deity, is uh, supposed to be quite uh, important to Hindus. Uh, so there's a, a very personal character to Hindu religion in that sense. Um, to some extent this is true even of the religions that we, most of us, will know. Um, but at any rate, religion is centred on the worship of a, of a god and it has rituals that attend that and a system of theology which, um, and, and sort of explanations of nature which go along with that. Now, some scholars have, have uh, disagreed with this. Grant Allen, for example, who was a Protestant minister who lived uh, in the 19th and I think into the early 20th century, um, 
he described religion as precisely those rituals. Religion, uh, so far as John Allen was concerned, was prayer, it was doing puja, uh, you know, it was the kind of making the offerings that various religions make. And the theology was, although tied up with that, was something distinct, and in his view it had come later. Not everybody agreed with that. Uh, Joseph McCabe, the author of various books on religion, including um, the story of religious controversy, which is a book I've just started to read, um, took the view that you know belief in a god or gods had to be considered as part of the definition of religion. And I think I, I'll agree with him for the purposes of this talk, and I think most of us would. So that's religion more or less. Uh, you know we can we can add bits to this and and expand upon it and what have you. But where did it come from is the next question we might want to uh, attack. Where did the, where, what's its origin? Um, has religion always been about, or is it something which uh, arose at a certain point in human history, or certain points even? Is it, for example, as, as some people would have you believe, nothing other than a conspiracy by those in power to keep the lower orders down by sort of feeding them stuff about uh, an afterlife and uh, consolation beyond the grave and how this life doesn't really matter so if you suffer like hell in this life uh, you stand to get rewarded in the next life if you're good and you know do as you're told basically. Well this is certainly, um, it's certainly true that religion has, has manifested itself in these forms but in line with our definition it certainly doesn't seem to be uh, that all the time. Religion has existed in societies which weren't class divided, um, and elements of it at least have existed in uh, societies uh, which are extremely primitive, to use a perhaps now disfavoured term, uh, very uh, early or, or um, least developed human societies. Does this mean it's existed everywhere, though, and, and, and in all times? Well, the answer to that would appear to be no. What you find are, in, in very sort of rudimentary human societies, uh, as represented, for example, by the um, Andaman Islanders or uh, the Bushmen um, in South Africa, in Southern Africa, um, you find a, a sort of varied story, really. The Andaman Islanders were, were apparently quite influenced by the time things were written down about the religion by uh, the white missionaries. They, they thought, for example, I believe, that um, uh, they became white men when, when they died and went to heaven. So this appears to have been a belief borrowed or modified or, or sort of taken up from, from the missionaries. Um, but they didn't really, uh, it didn't really occupy an awful lot of their time. And in the case of the Bushmen, although there was a belief among some of them in a supreme deity, it doesn't appear to have been a universal belief. In other words, what you're getting here is ideas developing. And there are apparently societies that McCabe cites where there was no belief in God, none at all, and uh, you know, no particular belief in an afterlife. You know, there was, it, the, the thing just didn't figure in these people's thoughts. Um, you have to be careful when you're reading McCabe, incidentally, because he writes in a, he was, he lived from the middle of the 19th century to f just past the middle of the last century. And his language and style is, is rather antiquated in terms of his attitude to different human groups. Uh, you know, he talks about the lowest uh, fragments of the human race and things like that. You've, you've, you've got uh, that kind of difficulty to go through. But he certainly seems to, to know what he's on about from what I've read so far. And um, contrary to what I had believed up to, um, or fairly 